So as you've been mentioning Juicy, a lot of people, including Mohammed and his coach, predicting that LCOP will go with a, uh, I believe it was the Pekka Goblin Giant Rage deck, a really easy to use deck here in game number one. Oh. I'd be surprised to see him. Shout out, shout out. It looks like he's never going to. There was a lot of people I talked to that thought it might actually even just be Peck in the back first play. But that's not what we're yeah, seeing here, with, especially with the evil ice cream. Shades of Hog so far from Mohammed Light. And Royal Giant, something that LCOP did run a lot during his qualifying stages in the CRCC to make this world championship. Did not typically run it with the Ice Wiz, ran a, a different construction, but curious to see what he has in store for us here. Monkey ability going to drop down to deflect that Archer Queen ability. The Fisherman as well trying to lock onto a cannon. Roll delivery dropping down. Interesting matchup so far is the standard Pigs or Quig versus a Roll Giant Monk. That Monk is being very useful versus the Queen the entire match. First minute away and so far just a little bit of chip in both directions. You can see, look at the expressions on their faces. Right, you see some deep breaths here. Even for two of the most experienced former world champions, you cannot replicate what it feels like when it's finally happening. Pigs at the bridge does. He has a boy. He does. Wow, this is a great situation for LCI. A lot of times you might see a lightning or maybe even an earthquake with roll down, but that fireball is going to make it so Mahama might actually have to split his pigs and split his damage across the tower. Something he's very good at traditionally, very good at early on getting dual lane pressure and damage. We'll see if he gets that done here today. The Evo RG drops in the back as we go towards our double elixir time. I talked to Mahath Light and Riley and others, and they said LCOP is a great player, but maybe his deck picking is not a smart player. After seeing this, I maybe he was, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's true, because this is a great matchup for LCOP. And pigs in, LCOP back to four, fireball with clear. The log for the evil oh, oh. And the RG doesn't get the deck LCOP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job by Mo to mitigate that damage despite the great play of Elsie. Hey, Pao Jia Zi Lian Chen. Jia Zi Lian Chen. And it's really only going to get worse. Later in the match, we're going to see two roll jacks on the board on each side, which is very difficult to deal with, especially when you don't have a solid team. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Mathematics to get his damage. Oh, strong move. At the bridge, left hand lane, switching sides. This one, though, getting handled by the king. The Archer Queen guard does get a couple of stops. Mom, same lane as the queen yet again. And here comes the split pigs I was talking about. You got to choose which side to fire. Fire on the right, guards on the left. Will Mom like a second Archer Queen ability? Yes, he has it available, but he's not going to use it. Elsion with the monkey ability to prevent it. Lead now for Mohammed in sudden death over time 2462 top right hand side of your screen 2388 on the bottom Evo Ice Spirit plus Cannon to hold against the Royal Jump. Bigs right away. I really like this pressure while defending, forcing the fire on defense, using the log as well. LCOP knows that this game is very close and wow, the ice spirit will jump. Was that an overspend by LCOP with the fireball and the log there? I know he wanted to mitigate all the damage, but you know, instead of a positive trade, now you get a negative one. This ball is very good, this ball is very good. Oh, 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 oh. And watch out for those evil skeletons. He has to fireball, but look at the damage of the right hand side. And you saw he had to wait to make sure that the evil skeletons are not going to pick sport together. Pressure from Mohammed right now giving him the lead. With a minute eight left, keep in mind that while LCOP does have fireball and log, there's almost no way they're going into a spell cycle situation with his defensive units. <laughs> and here comes the pigs all the way to pre-log plus pre-play. That's it, one more, let's go! On that left-hand side, or does he go left-right here? You see the guards and the fishermen on the right-hand side. Evo Skelly's Ice Wiz plus log to clear. Evo RG is still fairly healthy. healthy. Second Royal Giant right behind him. He needs to break through here. Can he do it? The monk is deflecting the queen and the cannon. The Royal Giant is walking through. Log dropping down. Ice Wiz doesn't take it out. The Ice Wiz jumps down. He's a big con, man. Second, let's go! 
叠不上去，没有办法再叠第三只了。好会杀，手啊！又出一个。哇！啊、uh, ！被硬碰，被硬碰。拿出小超来了。<笑>好猛！那个超级进化的。Players get locked in here for their number two matchup. The loser here will face the loser of our next match between Lucas and Rico and Drill for Elsie. And a backup from Mo. This is the deck that Mo is uh, expecting Elsie to play. Elsie out really going um, completely different. And speaking of completely different, we see the cannon here tap. Now that is really not a child I expected to see very often during this tournament, just because it recently got nerfed. But it seems to be doing very well versus this battle. And it's Drill Wall Breakers, the two Evos he's choosing as well. Doesn't get the connection courtesy of the Rage. A little, a little funny here to see Mo and Jules talking about this deck all week. This is the deck they expect him to go game number one. And then see them bring it out alongside our newest champion. Here comes yet another drill. Next drill will be Evo. I love the placement, pulling everything backwards. A lot of the ghosts to splash and connect on tower. Wow, this is what? This is called science. Science, science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Science, science. Science. This is not science. 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 The dark elf gets aired out. It's really out. The stars certainly mitigating some of that, but down to 16-02. He is the captain or the captain? Uh, help型单位。One wall breaker pulled. One does connect. Bandit dashes in. Guards to hold. But this is a lot of damage going the opposite way. Wow. I mean, both players. Very light on the defense, very aggressive on the offense, and here comes the offense yet again, the Evo Goblin Drill. What does Mo have to deal with this? The rage is not what you're looking for. Snowball in to slow the tower and get a little extra damage on there. Now Evo Wallbreakers with the action on the back. Oh, no. jump, 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 jump. Full connection, and Mohammed Light's in trouble in game two. And this is the deck Elsiab is known for, whether it be Cannon Card Bridge Man with the Rain Rider or a Goblin Girl Bridge Man. He knows how to keep that elixir in a black The only question is, can Mo break through with this evil fire? So far, so good holding. Bandit dashes at a great time, takes both the Pekka and helps cover against the Doctor. Here we go, drill in, 195 wins. 25 HP, 21. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's Even with cyber decks, so it's not guaranteed to be to be down. Elsiop did play some bait, of course. Now that we see the the lightning dragon, probably not the electro dragon, but for a moment, maybe. And Lou, so he is going to be gone. And Mo, you are correct. We do see bait. Bait on my board here. Bait is not a ability. Wow, this is going to be more. Versus this, we'd much rather have a test. Shouldn't get a drop, but we'll get death damage as the brawler goes and gives its punch the opposite direction. Muhammad Light with damage in both lanes. Elsiop shipping that by him tower. And this, once again, just so fast. Elsiop, uh, just break down. He has the bar rail for the guy. He has the arrows for the princess. He even has the lava to take for that balloon. What kind of air defense does Mo have for this last card? I mean, I mean, if he has a rocket, that could help, but this is looking very grim for our, our 2022 champion. Prince and Princess both get ready to go to work on the Princess walking away.
from the lava hound, Paige pulls to the middle, and she does retarget towards the evil electro dragon. Barbara picked up by the fire spirit plus the knight. Great protection by the hound's light. High side. Lava buffs are trying to take out the zombie. That's what I'm going to do. 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 The knight is taking out the zombie. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Well, boy, boy. So maybe some cycle issues there for us. Like you see him shaking his head a lot in this matchup. And I think that yeah, maybe he got his cycle to a position where he was not happy with his ability to defend. Yeah, he was low elixir as well, but at least he's up about one elixir here. He's able to get that lava. Moonlight decides to use the princess aggressively uh, to block pressure off some lane this time. And you see him going with the gang to clear the princess rather than a spell, making sure he's not going to get caught flat-footed by the incoming imminent evo. No, no evo electro not the dragon not. cycle that makes defense a lot easier. And here comes the evo bear, like you said. Oh, from the wrong oh, one, real goblins the right doing massive damage, but now he has to defend. Lava Hound in, balloon in, pups all around. Muhammad Light's defense is absolutely picture perfect. Electro Dragon gets a couple shots, but he needs a lot more oomph in his push than that, and yet another Goblin there. Goes to the inside, easily read by Elsiop. And this has just been so well controlled. You were worried about the air defense, but Little Prince, Princess, Goblin Gang, and the MVP so far has been the Snowball. Harris dropping down the gang. Here comes the free snowball from Muhammad Light, forcing out the Barbarian Barrel, but now he can out-cycle with his Princess Bay out those arrows and get another Goblin Barrel down right away. What does Elsiop have in store to try to battle back into this one? The margins are so thin. Has to cover the left-hand side. Right-hand side is a problem. The Knight touches down to 59 HP. Princess on the left-hand side. Nothing on the right-hand side. GG, well played, Mohammed.